Wright. I'm the trauma nurse coordinator here at Delta Health and we are going to do a trauma talk. Trauma talks are a collaborative effort between um, the Western Slope Trauma Collaborative, which is us, Montrose Regional Health, Gunnison, um, <clears throat> Intermountain, Mar Intermountain Health at St. Mary's, as well as Telluride and Community Hospital. So this month, we are going to talk about gun safety. Um, just some tips to prevent unintentional shootings are to never clean a loaded weapon, um, keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to fire, um, making sure that you know what your target is, your intended target and what's beyond it. So never pointing your muzzle somewhere that it shouldn't be or at somebody including yourself um, and storing the firearm in a properly locked cabinet or case. Yeah. If you have firearms in your home, it is important to educate any children that may be in your home on firearm safety. Um, this is important for inside and outside the home, emphasizing on the dangers that may come with a firearm. Also, I'd like to mention that firearms are the most common method used in suicide. Um, so if you have somebody that you're around or in your home that is struggling with mental health, I encourage you to make sure those weapons are not available or e easily accessible. And then for hunting, um, maintain you know your diligence with your firearm safety rules when you're hunting. And I can also encourage you to pack a stop the bleed kit or a tourniquet with you in your hunting packs um, in the event of a accidental discharge of your firearm.